KI Biobank is a core facility for Karolinska Institute that supports any of the medical research the Institute undertakes. One of the large projects that we are doing, prostate cancer study, where we are looking to improve the PSA test. The KI Biobank activities can be broken down into three areas. We offer help with referral and ethics. We offer help with lab processes and sample sorting and we offer help with generating data and advanced genomics, such as genotyping. At the KI Biobank, we use a magnetic beads-based DNA extraction platform. We can extract DNA from either whole blood or saliva. We have two protocols available for whole blood, including a 400 microliter protocol and a 4 mil protocol. From the 400 microliter protocol, we can get approximately 10 micrograms of DNA per run and this is of a high enough quality to use directly in genotyping and whole genome techniques. The Stockholm 3 uh, is a large prostate cancer diagnostic test that we are conducting here in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, we are including and inviting between 50 and 60,000 men in the ages of 50 to 69. And in Stockholm 3 we are evaluating genotyping with Quant Studio together with another platform looking at six other biomarkers at the same time. Combining these genetic markers with the new protein markers, we believe that that will be a better prostate cancer test that hopefully uh, in the future can be used for prostate cancer screening. I envision that within two years we can use genotyping in routine for prostate cancer diagnosis together with other biomarkers and PSA. The uh, KR Biobank helps the researchers convert lab science into things that can be used in healthcare things that help us understand what makes us sick and how we can treat diseases in a better way. The first time I learned about the Quant Studio was about one and a half year ago when we were looking for a new genotyping technology in our prostate cancer study. The important points when we were choosing genotyping technology was that it should be fast, reliable and that we can make it automatic and get the answers back within one or two days. In the process of choosing a genotyping technology, we evaluated two other uh, techniques and platforms and at the end we choose uh, Quant Studio because it was most reliable and quick. Uh, KI Biobank has been essential for the Stockholm 3 trial. All the genotyping have been conducted and all the samples from between 50 and 60,000 men have been processed within uh, 24 hours. Without the devotion and technical skill of the personnel here at KO Biobank, Stockholm 3 will never have been possible. We investigated an array of genotyping platforms, such as microarray-based and mass spec based However, due to the quick turnaround time and the reduced hands-on time of running the open array system, we decided that the Quant Studio open array platform was best for our high throughput, high turnaround needs. Quant Studio has given us a simple, reliable technology that we can use to apply to a, a large number of individuals to start to understand genetic risk factors for prostate cancer. With Quant Studio, we've seen that we can easily and robustly look at genetic effects in disease. We will continue evaluating Quant Studio in the prostate cancer genotyping. Uh, it's looking promising already, and we see a future where we apply it routinely maybe even to other disease areas. Our future plan for using the Quant Studios are uh, when the Stockholm 3 study is finished in about one year from now, we will evaluate the results and after that we will take into consideration how we will use it in the future. The Quant Studio has the potential of being a genotyping technology that you can use in the clinic. I can see in the future that genotyping for different diseases like prostate cancer or breast cancer will be common in clinical routine labs uh, around the world. My vision is that this biobank will have a real impact on public health. We're already starting to see signs of that uh, with, for instance, a multiple sclerosis study where we can start to identify which patients respond in the best way to a new drug treatment and which patients are not going to get any benefit. This way we'll make healthcare much more effective.